A table was something I missed in my old van as a place to work and be productive. Um, I do quite a lot of projects which are outside of YouTube and I just need somewhere to work. So the secondary benefit of having a table is of course we can lift out the bed plug and we can have six people sit around a table and chat and have a meal together. The reason I put the table on this rail means I can easily quickly click it away, put it back. And this I just bought on eBay and it costs about you know, 30 pounds or 30 dollars or something like that. The height of the table um, is largely just defined by you know, what's comfortable based on the height of my chairs and overall very, very happy with this design. So it just clips in um, and all it is is basically 12 mil plywood. Um, now it does have like a little bit of flex, but then at the same time, it's also really light and doesn't take up too much space. Easy to lift uh, and basically put in the cupboard. big king size bed that was fixed um, was really important and so what I did when I was building it in terms of the height I know people will like want to have bikes and stuff under there but I kind of built it a lot off the seating and the table which pulls out from underneath so that comes out I need to finish this a little bit but the uh, table like sits perfectly when you pull it out against your legs uh, and it's and it's a nice way of having a good table that comes out all the way. In terms of fully out, fully out you, you've got to just watch your legs because there's a little bar that comes down and it'll come out all the way to there. And then there's some bolts here that you can just lock shut. Um, and you know, you can get three people here having dinner, playing games, whatever. So that goes back in. Um, and then for driving, just having a bolt that goes across it. I mean, or you could put something on the front just to stop it coming out. This is our table. For dinner, you have everything you need. And in the evening, I'll show you, you can move things. And while you relax, you can use a smaller table just for your computer, glass of glasses, bottle of wines. And then when you're ready for bed, you just lock everything. Our friend, um, Tom Harper, who makes all our leather stuff, he made these little straps for us. So it just sits there and then it comes down, goes into there, and then this just comes off the wall. And voila, you've got like quite a yeah, fairly sturdy table. And for two of us sat here it works works really well. But to be honest, actually, we like a lot of the time we don't even bother getting the table out. You kind of just eat eat here on your plates. So, but yeah, it goes away really quickly too. And actually it stays up here um, quite well. It just wedges on that little bit of wedged wood there. The two tables are in here, they join up to make one big table and the reason we did it this way because in Scotland it rains a lot so you would eat with the door closed so one of them slots in on the door and then if you wanted to eat with the doors open on a nice day like today one of the tables will slot in here and comes to about here and the tabletop was made of one big piece of larch cut in two, so you can actually have the two tables joined together as one big table if you had a little dinner party in the van or something like that. So this table So these again are the whiskey barrel staves and then this piece of larch slides in here and it will slide along so we can actually move the table about And that slots in there. We do have another stave to stabilise it on the bottom, but I'll not get that bit out at the moment. So this can move along like this, depending if you needed access in and out, or if you need to get in the drawer here. So that's, that's the sort of table you would use if you wanted to eat with the door open. So this is the table we would use um, if it's raining. Slot it on through here. And then another whiskey barrel stave that just sits under there and slots there. So we would just sit, have a nice cup of tea, looking out the window at the beautiful scenery. So we use the leftovers of the countertop to make this pull-out table right here. 
and it's pretty handy for us. We use it as an extra space for a countertop when we're cooking or for working on the computer or to eat. Also, we put the computer here to watch movies. It's just like a nice little feature, you know? So this is our seating area. We went for a seat that converts into a bed rather than a fixed bed because we work on the road so we wanted a nice big table and yeah, we really enjoy it. It folds, this table lowers and the cushions come in and it makes a super king bed. It's, you know, probably a bit too big. Um, but Myron's really tall so we can't sleep the width of the bed. We have to sleep the lengthways and it just ended up the bed being this big. The other thing I kind of incorporated was this, uh, this chase. So if I want to sit like this, reading a book, I can easily lounge, have my feet propped up. Um, the other seating orientation is sitting crossways with the table upright. It's just a nice ergonomic height for dining. Um, got a little cut out here, so, so whoever you're eating with can easily hop back into the nice little nook there. And it's also my mobile desk, so grab my computer here, easily get it set up. I've got the, uh, the outlet in a convenient location as well, so I'll just plug that in and get to work. Yeah, that's kind of some of the thoughts I put into the, the dining area and really just making sure that it was comfortable. It's kind of, in my first few vans, I didn't, I didn't have a proper seating area like this and I found this was probably the single most uh, beneficial addition that I've made to the vans to make it really feel really homey and, and comfortable. Here we have our eating place with our nice eating table. Um, the table is uh, like removable and the idea was um, to have like um, as much space as we can get in the car. So we thought um, a removable table is like um, a good thing. You can like sit there and eat from that side and I can sit here. So this we can move out. Yeah. This nice little polster on it. So it's, um, yeah, it's fine. And for like um, neighbors, very nice people who are coming in our van, we can also remove this. Now it's fixed because um, of the box. Yeah, easily sit, can sit two people actually. And it's much strong enough um, to hold the weight. I've got the, the seats here which twist around, which is super useful. It opens up the space massively um, and it's a really, it keeps the, the space really flexible. So if it's just me, I quite often will just eat on the driver's seat and just eat here. If there's two of us, quite often we'll just keep the bed out and eat here. Um, this table is removable. Um, it's a really beautiful piece of wood. This is a table seat setup. I actually went on a little trip with um, a friend of mine in a different van and he had this setup and I really liked it. Um, well, it basically gives you really, really flexible space. So if I've got lots of friends in, we can all eat dinner around the table. I sometimes just invite my friends for dinner in my van because that's what you do when you have a van, I guess. Um, you, the table legs are just removable. You just pull the table off, uh, move the legs away, and then this drops down. And then there are two rails that sit on the fronts of the seats here, and it just sits on there. Um, the table is a little bit shorter, so I've also got a, a couple of extra slats of wood that just fill up the end. These mattresses are then double layered. Um, this is my lovely African fabric that I brought back from Tanzania. Um, I then pick up one of the mattresses, put it underneath, or it can turn into a single bed if I've got a third person sleeping. And then the other mattress sits in the middle. Uh, and then I've got all my bedding kept just stored away at the top of the cab there. I hope you enjoyed that content. Um, if you hadn't noticed, we do have an ebook that we sell, uh, and the link is just in the description. Uh, it contains 160 pages crammed full of practical advice, walkthrough information, electronic schematics, and part lists, which will make 
your job a lot easier for doing a van conversion and it will save you time and money. Also, we've created special videos for the ebook which enable you to see walkthroughs for how to do loads of things in a van conversion. So that's for water systems, for your electrics, for how to do simple woodwork joints that anyone can do. I really believe that anyone, regardless of their experience, can make a half decent van conversion. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our content and we put a lot of effort to make it interesting, informative and find those cool projects that feature on our channel. Consider subscribing, leave a comment and we'll see you next week.